Hi everybody, welcome to the Native Wildman channel. Your host, Sean Catfish Wilson. And today, I want to go over you with my new case knife right here. This is called the Case Witch's Brew. green and purple coloring with a case in the little oval emblem it just says case then the case xx x in the dotting dating system There's a little bit of a gap in here. You can kind of see it right about where my fingernail is, but it's not too bad. And a little bit of this is uneven along, if I can't find it. Yeah, it's kind of a little uneven right at this corner right here where I'm tapping the finger. And it really was the finger. Sorry. That was kind of an un unintentional, but. Very, very beautiful knife. Um, fit and finish is, like I said, okay. It could have been a little better, but it's not too bad. But now the blade grind. If you notice, reason why I have this one out is just to show you um, one's carbon steel but look at the tips as you can see one comes to a much finer point than the other one I mean I, I can repair that. I've got stones and I know how to sharpen knives so that's that's not too big of a deal. It is kind of annoying to see that happen. I was going to say it doesn't have a sharpening choil but I, I actually cut this choil in myself with a stone just because I prefer to have them. And this one has a big choil. This is a new knife too. CJRB. Pretty ex inex nice, nice budget knife. I'll go over it on a different video. I'm, it's D2 still. I'm still trying to test it out. See how well it works. So far so good. I'm not going to go over any more on it this case it actually came really really sharp out of the box cuts what I needed to overall it's a real beautiful knife although my personal opinion is I think that the bolsters here they could have gone with like a bronze or brass and it would have brought the purple and greens out a lot more and better it looked better with the darker but that, that's that's my opinion see as you can see the liners being brass and I, I like the looks of it better next to the brass but silver nickel that's what they use is a silver nickel bolsters for case This thing shut without clipping my finger off. Oh, the blade centering is well off, 
really off. It's to the right. Point it that way anyways. <clears throat> but that seems to be a common thing for cases for them to you can see this one it has a better tip on it but it's off to the left on the blade centering I don't know if the blade is bent or if it's just I don't know I'm not a knife maker I don't know why the blade centering's off on them but they're still lovely knives either or way this one I, I couldn't resist with this green on there green's my favorite color as you can tell with my looking for green colored knives I don't have a whole lot of green colored knives yet But this this is a custom made knife. I'm gonna test it out. I'm probably gonna make some videos out on the field testing it. Um, Uncle Jed, I found him on Facebook, and fits my hand nicely. Um, enough of that one. Uh, let's see. And then my other green knives, the Hen and Rooster. I finally got this one to where it'll stay sharp. I had to sharpen it a few times before the edge actually held on it. I'm not 100% sure why. I'm sure somebody out there would know why that is, but I'm not, I don't know. But I, I did finally get it to sharpen up. It's... Uh, Still wouldn't say the greatest knife in the world, but I like it. It's green. It will cut, do what I need it to do, and then this one I've had for a long time. It's kind of turning yellow on parts of it, but eh, oh well. And this is... um. I want to say this is an exclusive through Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Most, most of my knives I get are from Smoky Mountain. My Wii was from Blade HQ and my um, Boker Kalashnikov Black Widow Hawkbill is from Blade HQ, but... I get a lot from Smoky Mountain. They have a pretty good selection. It's my preferred knife place to buy from. If I don't buy local anyways. Oh, and hold on. You're going to... Okay, let's see if that stays there. Alright. There. Stare at the beautiful knife for a second. I got one other knife I want to get out and show you that it's brand new. Okay, I know it's really a machete. But you know what? It's really sharp. 
this this knife is definitely going to get a dedicate a dedicated video to itself too. Um, and it's also got historical significance, I guess to say. I don't know exactly how to say it. It's a reproduction of a knife that went to the moon nine times and back, or space nine times and back. But enough for this one for now. So overall, I give this knife an 8 out of 10 for out of the box brand new it has a couple defects on it like i said some of them is something i can fix so and the gaps in these knives i'm not too worried about i buy my knives to use so this knife isn't it's not just a i mean it is a pretty gem but it's not just meant to be a looked at it's gonna be used so a few flaws on it whatever It's nothing major that's going to bug me or something that I can't fix, so. Anyways, this is my case. Witches Brew, they also make this in different patterns. Peanut, um, go, go to Smoky Mountain Knifeworks and you can see what Witches Brew they have. They, they are real pretty. And if purple is your favorite color, like uh, Shooting Guy mentioned that purple is his favorite color, he'd probably think this is a real pretty knife. I, I love the purple on this side, though, the way it's... And I'll, I'll tell you something, seeing this knife on video, and then actually holding it in person, it's just night and day between the way it looks so anyways peace and long life